Hello and welcome back. In this video I am going to show an overview of the latest version of Open Indiana and some of the applications pre-installed. Open Indiana is a free and open source Unix operating system derived from Open Solaris and based on Illumos. Forked from Open Solaris after Open Solaris was discontinued by Oracle Corporation, Open Indiana takes its name from Project Indiana, the internal code name for Open Solaris at Sun Microsystems before Oracle's acquisition of Sun in 2010. Created by a development team led by Alistair Lumsden, the Open Indiana project is now stewarded by the Illumos Foundation, which develops and maintains the Illumos operating system. The project aims to make Open Indiana the de facto Open Solaris distribution installed on production servers where security and bug fixes are provided free of charge. Project Indiana was originally conceived by Sun Microsystems to construct a binary distribution around the Open Solaris source code base. Open Indiana was conceived after negotiations of a takeover of Sun Microsystems by Oracle were proceeding, in order to ensure continued availability and further development of an Open Solaris-based OS, as it is widely used. Uncertainty among the Open Solaris development community led some developers to form tentative plans for a fork of the existing code base. These plans came to fruition following the announcement of discontinuation of support for the Open Solaris project by Oracle. Open Indiana is a fork in the technical sense but it is a continuation of Open Solaris in spirit. Some of the Open Indiana features are ZFS, a combined file system and logical volume manager providing a high level of data integrity for very large storage capacities. Solaris containers, or zones, a low overhead implementation of operating system level virtualization technology for x86 and Spark systems. Kernel based virtual machine, or KVM, a virtualization infrastructure. KVM supports native virtualization on processors with hardware virtualization extensions. Open Indiana uses SMFS in its software and supports the ZFS file system. For package management Open Indiana uses IPS. Here you can see the commands to install software from the command line using the IPS package manager. Open Indiana includes version 5.11 of the Illumos kernel. Some of the default applications of this release of Open Indiana are Pluma, I have Mate, Firefox, Thunderbird, Agile Document Viewer and Bracero. Let me know your thoughts about Open Indiana in the comments section below. Thank you for watching the video and please help the channel by sharing leaving a like and subscribing.